So we reached Kannur actually after about seven hours of drive. That is the resort I am staying in, and right in front of the resort is the beach. So you just have to walk down and come to the beach. Uh, the beach is actually really clean. I have not seen a beach this clean in a while. I have been to Gokarna, to Goa, all the beaches, but yeah, you can hardly find any people around as well. So if you are someone who enjoys their own time and want a peaceful kind of location, this is the perfect place for you. There is a road going right across the beach and uh, just the other side of the road you have numerous resorts. You can find inns, beach houses, resorts, shacks all around. So this is the resort that I am staying in. It's called Sea Breeze Rest Inn. And then you see this road. There are plenty of other resorts in the same road. Uh, let me give you a quick tour of the room and the resort that we are staying in. So yeah, follow me. So this one is the common balcony that we have got. Uh, the first room that we have is this one right here. And uh, we are staying in this room. So yeah, let me quickly tell you about it. So this is our room, here we have got a nice dresser where you can keep your belongings. This is the bathroom, which is surprisingly nice and clean. Here is my wife <laughs> and uh, this room comes with a balcony, so yeah. Here it is. And uh, yeah, you can also have a look at the sea right from here. So this room is surprisingly affordable. It cost me around uh, 2500 per night. And it is an AC room, which is a blessing in Kannur because the weather is really hot. So I would say if you are coming to Kannur, please try and book at least an AC room. Uh, trust me, you will thank me later. So yeah, and the view is not bad either. Good morning guys, and uh, it's second day in Kannur. Uh, the plan is to go to the drive-in beach today and I have heard there are a lot of places nearby for example there's a lighthouse there are some ports and the harbor viewpoint so we'll see how much of that we can cover today so now we are going to the drive-in beach of Kannur it is actually one of the longest drive-in beaches in entire Asia I'm accompanied by my brother and my wife who's in the back so yeah when I reach the beach I'll let you know about it So guys, we have reached the drive-in beach and uh, the weather looks really nice. So I'll show you around. So yeah, we really enjoyed driving on this beach. It's a unique kind of experience, so I highly suggest you try that out. And as you can see, the weather is just beautiful. And uh, yeah, people are enjoying themselves.
So we are done with the drive-in beach. It was a memorable experience, definitely. And if it is something that you have not yet tried, I highly suggest you do that. So if you want to drive on the beach, you have to come to Kannur. This is the only beach in Asia where you're allowed to drive. We have just reached St. Angelo's Fort and yeah, let's see how it is. So this is actually a very big fort as you can see around me. The walls are huge. Just have a look. And I think there used to be some kind of uh, water system around here. Yeah, so we will get to know about it more. We are about to enter the port now. Uh, the parking was 20 rupees and the per person ticket was 25. Due to COVID, they made us enter our details. So yeah, that is expected. And uh, here we have a small map. So as you can see, uh, there are a lot of things to visit here. The port is huge. They have cannons everywhere. And uh, this seems to be some kind of sitting. So I, I think they, they do a laser show or something around here, I guess. Not sure. Uh, the location of the port seems to be really strategic since it is surrounded by sea on the two sides. Just check this out. So that's it for the port. Uh, we have covered almost everything that the port has to offer and uh, we found a very interesting point at the corner of the port where the ocean is meeting the rocks. So yeah, just have a look. So damn good, right? Okay, I'll... there is one last thing that I want to do today and that is to visit the harbour. It's supposed to close in another 30 minutes, so I'm not sure if I'm going to make it, but I'll try my best. We made it. Barely in time. It's 15 minutes left before 6. Here is a time lapse for the entire harbour. So you can watch it for yourself what to expect. This is the end for our second day and uh, if you are coming to this harbour, I will suggest that you come in the morning so that you can see the sun rise in front of you. Since we have made it in the evening, the sun is already behind me. Hit that thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.